Okay, now we are going to move on to multiplying and dividing fractions with common denominators. So first thing here, multiplying fractions, remember that you can cross reduce. So when you guys look at the three and the five, can we reduce those? No, and the five and the four, no. So what we're going to do is we're just going to multiply across. So three times four is 12. Five times five is 25. And that's it. Uh, I'm going to throw some negatives. So now we have a negative two ninths times a positive three ninths. So same thing, you can cross reduce. So looking at the two and the nine, we can't reduce those. But the three and the nine we can because three goes into both of them. So three divided by three is one. Nine divided by three is two. No, oh, sorry, three. And then now we can just multiply across. And remember, multiplying fractions, you're still going to use your multiplying fraction integer rules. So when you take a negative times a positive, I like to use the Christmas tree we have the plus at the top and the two negatives down at the bottom. If you're taking a negative times a positive, you're going to cover up one negative and your one positive. And whatever you have left is going to be the sign of your answer. So in this case, a negative times a positive is a negative. And then multiply across. So two times one is two. 3 times 9 is 27. And then that's your answer. All right, last one here is mixed numbers. Now, with adding and subtracting mixed numbers, we didn't have to do anything with them. However, with multiplying and dividing fractions, you have to change it into an improper fraction first before you do anything, OK? So let's go ahead and change negative 4 and 2 elevenths into an improper fraction. Don't look at the negative yet. Okay, we'll just attach it at the end. So 11 times 4 is 44, plus 2 is 46. So this now becomes negative 46 over 11. Then we have 11 times 10, which is 110 plus 3 is 113 over 11 and then drop down your negative okay uh, we are allowing you guys to use calculators for part of your guys's quiz that's coming up next week um, so I'll go ahead and use the calculator here just to make sure we know how to use it so again when you're multiplying fractions, you just multiply across. Uh, you can check to see if you can reduce these. So like 11 is a prime number. So if 11 goes into 113, it's going to come out as um, a whole number with no remainder. So if you do want to double check, you can. So 113 divided by 11 comes out as a decimal. So it does not go into it. And then hopefully with the 46, it's a little bit easier to tell if it's going to go into or, or go into it or not. So um, it does not. So all that we're going to do now is just multiply across. So 46 times 113. We get 5,198. And then your denominator here, 11 times 11 is 121. And if you guys did not know that, you could double check it. And then we have a negative times a negative. So if I use my Christmas tree here, I'm going to cover up the two negatives. And whatever I have left is what my answer is going to be. So it's going to be a positive. However, this is a improper fraction and we want to we want you guys to change it into a mixed number. So you just divide. So 5198 
divided by 121. And we're really just looking for the whole number right now. So the whole number is 42. And then to figure out what your remainder is, we could take that 121 times 42 to see what that gives us, which is 5,082. So if I wanted the remainder, I can take 5,198 minus 5,082. and I get a remainder of 116. And that's my answer. All right, so now on to dividing. So same thing with dividing. Uh, anytime you guys see mixed numbers, you have to change them into improper. And then the main thing about dividing fractions is how you have to uh, multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so if you guys remember, reciprocal is when you just flip flop the fraction. So if I said, what's the reciprocal of 4 fifths, flip flop the numbers, the reciprocal would be 5 over 4. Okay, uh, I know a lot of you guys say keep, change, flip. We're trying to get rid of that, so we want you guys to say multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so 3 fifths is going to stay the same. Change division to multiplication. And then the reciprocal of 4 over 5 is 5 over 4. So same rule as multiplying. You can see if you can cross reduce. So you cannot do anything with the 3 or the 4, but you can with the 5s. The 5s will reduce to 1 since the 5s go into 5 one time. And then just multiply across. So 3 times 1 is 3, 1 times 4 is 4, so we're going to get an answer of 3 fourths. All right, what if we had a negative? Okay, still does not change anything. We still need to change division to multiplication first, so we need to change this to multiply by the reciprocal. So negative 2 ninths will stay the same. Change division to multiplication. And the reciprocal of 3 over 9 is 9 over 3. All right, so once again, you can cross reduce. So we cannot do anything with the 2 or the 3, but the 9s will reduce. Again, 9 goes into 9 one time, so those will both turn into 1s. And then multiply across, and just don't forget this negative. So negative 2 times a positive 1 is negative 2. And then 1 times 3 is 3. All right, last one here. So we have mixed numbers and division. So there's a couple of steps that we need to take before we actually start solving this problem. First thing that I would do is change these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So if you guys remember, we already did these up here at the top, so I'm just going to rewrite them. So negative 4 and 2 elevenths was the same as negative 46 over 11. I'm going to keep the division sign for now. We'll change it here in a second. And then negative 10 and 3 elevenths was the same as negative 113 over 11. Now that I have changed it into improper, I can now multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. So negative 46 over 11 stays the same. Change division to multiplication. And then the reciprocal of negative 113 over 11 is negative 11 over 113. All right, so again, we can cross reduce. So if you guys notice, these 11s can cancel out. Please note that when you cancel out this negative 11, it is still a negative one. Okay, so just don't forget that negative sign. And then now we can multiply across. So 
So negative 46 times a negative 1 is a positive 46. And then 1 times 113 is 113. All right, so there was a lesson over adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. Uh, once you guys get done taking your notes on this, uh, you should have a Canvas homework assignment to do for this. So thank you for watching and hope you guys have a good rest of your day.